नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन पॉइंट टू गिव द आई यू पैक नेम्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंपाउंड सो इन दिस वी आर ओनली गोइंग टू गिव द नेम्स ऑफ द आई यू पैक कंपाउंड नॉट लाइक द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन वेर वी आर गोइंग टू क्लासीफाई दम सो द क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस इज फर्स्ट वन सी एच थ्री सी एच इन ब्रैकेट वी हैव सी एल देन वी हैव सी एच एंड देन वी हैव बी आर इन ब्रैकेट एंड देन वी हैव अ सी एच थ्री so for this compound we are going to do the naming so let's try to open the structure so we have ch3 ch so because we have this element in bracket that's going to be a branching and ch again the element is branched and then you have a ch3 now this particular question which is the question number 10.2 is based on two halogen atoms in the same compound so which one are you going to give priority and so on all right so here when you are trying to name them you are going to name that particular halogen which has the highest atomic number that's going to be given the first priority in naming the um, chain so here among cl and br br is the one which is of the higher atomic number so here you are going to start numbering in such a way br gets the least count so now when you count the biggest chain you have four carbon chain and that is a butane at position 2 you have bromo at position 3 you have chloro same rule alphabetical order so it's going to be 2 bromo 3 chloro butane all right now second compound is chf2 c br cl f let's try to write them so we have here ch on that we have f2 so that means 1f and 1f over here then we have c on which we have three halogens br cl and f so there's no doubt here because the second carbon over here has Two F atoms, so we are going to start with the other uh, carbon atom because it has bromine atom here, which is of the higher atomic number. So you are going to start with this carbon and then name it here. So now on the first carbon I have one bromo, one chloro, one fluoro. So when you try to write them in the IUPAC naming, you are going to write this as one bromo, then you will get one chloro. and then you have 1 1 2 2 because at one position 2 and 2 you have three fluorine atoms so it's going to be tri fluoro and what is a parent hydrocarbon it's only a two carbon chain so therefore it's going to be ethane all right now third one now under the third one you have c cl3 thrice and c cl so that means you have only one carbon here which is outside the bracket so when i draw the structure i'm going to have carbon with one cl atom all right now to this carbon i have three c cl3s so here this is one carbon with 3 cl all right then i have another carbon which has 3 cl then i have another carbon that has 3 cl all right so i have this molecule here now when i try to name them or to try to number them because they are all having cl atoms let's try and number the longest chain so the three carbon chain here is the longest chain All right now so because it's a three carbon chain i'm going to name this as propane now at position number 2 i have uh here this is a substituent which is going to be trichloromethyl group all right so i'm going to name that one here this is going to be at position number 2 try chloro methyl which is a substituent then comes the remaining 
at position number one so i have three chlorine atom at position number two i have three uh, one chlorine atom and at position number three i have three so i'm going to write all of that so that's going to be one comma one comma one because i have three halogens then at position number two only one halogen comma two then at position number three i have three halogens so it's going to be three comma three comma three i don't have space here so just erase that propane and write it again all right so here i will have how many chlorine atoms are there i have three ones one two and three threes are there so that makes a total of seven so it's called hepta chloro propane this is the naming of this compound all right now now moving on to the next one i have the third the fourth compound all right which is cl ch2 c triple bond c ch2 br let's write this compound now so here i have ch2 on that i have a cl a uh, triple bond c ch2 br it's a very open structure from here itself so when i start number i'm going to number from the right hand side because br is there which is having the higher atomic mass so 1 2 3 4 now four so here when i try to name it's a four carbon chain so i'm writing but i have a triple bond here it is starting at carbon number 2 so i'm going to put that in the parent hydrocarbon so it's going but to ine now at the first position i have bromo so it's one bromo and fourth position i have chloro so it's one bromo four chloro but to ine now next one is this fifth compound which is ch3 c in brackets p c l c 6 h 4 twice c h b r in bracket and c h 3 so we have c 6 h 4 with a c l in the para position two times so let's draw that first so i have my benzene ring here all right with the c l this is bonded to a carbon over here with a ch3 on one side so i have that ch3 and i have to the same carbon one more benzene ring so i have this with a cl in the para position after that i have on this side ch with a ch3 and i have a br all right so this is a molecule now we are going to number them now when you are numbering you are going to number the chain So in this case again, butane chain is there. So here, when you are trying to number them, you are going to number it in such a way that Br is going to get positions. So here, when I number, I am going to give one, two, three, and four. So I have a butane chain. All right, and Br is there, of course. So that's bromo. So it's going to be named first. So that's two bromo. Then at third position I have a chlorophenyl ring. At third position, so here I'm going to write two comma two. All right. And when I have a uh, ring structures like this, I'm going to put this as bis for two. And if you have three, it's going to be tris. So here this is going to be bis for chloro because compared to this one, two, three, and four. So it's four. Chloro benzene ring is now called as phenyl because here we are going to take it as a prefix. So this is going to be the final name of the compound. Now last one, which is the sixth one, you have CH three, thrice C CH double bond C CL C six H four 
I with the para position. So here I have a C6 H4 I. So let's put that first. So I have C6 H4 with I in the para position. And here I will have C with a Cl on top. Double bond with a CH. And then I have a single bond carbon with CH3 three times. This is my molecule. So what I will do here is I'm going to number them in such a way that the halogen part is going to get the numbering first. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Now when I name them, I'm having a 4 carbon chain. But in this case, the benzene ring is going to be considered as a parent hydrocarbon. So I'm going to write benzene here. Now once I write benzene over here, compared to the benzene, this is the first carbon over here. So this is going to be like a chain. So when I name them right now, before that I'm going to num name the ring one. So that's going to be 4 iodo at 4th position. Now this entire chain is standing on position number. So that's not 4 iodo, sorry. That is 1 iodo. It starts from the iod iod uh, iodine atom. So that's 1, 2, 3 and 4. So that is 1 iodo. Then... At fourth position, the entire ring is the entire chain is starting from the benzene ring. So that is four open bracket. Now this is a four carbon chain. So this is going to be on first position. So I'm going to put one chloro three comma three dimethyl. Because I have on third position I have both of this. And I'll just erase the benzene and write again because there's no space. And here, this is going to be but 1 in and because it is a suffix, it will be enyl. And you have benzene. Alright, so this part of the Naming is slightly difficult. You may not get at the very first go. Repeat the video or make the video slower and then watch it. So then it's going to be easier for you. Alright.